Good morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, in, in some of the markets in the grain, especially corn, it's kind of like a turnaround Tuesday. Uh, corn market is very oversold. We've been trading some bearish domestic uh, use numbers for quite a while here, and uh, just don't see a lot of on the export side, maybe even the feed side, that's going to help um, reduce the carryout. As far as the beans are concerned, it might be a little support underneath the market on hopes of some China demand, uh, maybe in the August, September time frame. But you know, South America is still uh, a little bit cheaper as far as replacement is concerned, and kind of watching some of the logistic issues both in Brazil and Argentina because of the virus. Uh, U.S. Uh, stock markets up, um, Asian, European markets are up, all hoping that uh, we could see a plateau as far as cases are concerned soon. Um, still here in the United States, some logistics um, issues as far as uh, supply chain. Uh, but right now, I think everything is under control and, and food is moving in a timely basis. Uh, we are seeing uh, in the flour and, and the meat part, uh, the fact that restaurants are still closed, uh, dropping uh, some of the demand side. As far as uh, U.S. weather is concerned, the next two weeks are going to be cold, colder than normal. Uh, rainfall will be kind of near normal, except maybe in the Delta and the Southeast and Ohio Valley, which could be above normal. Uh, next two days, we should see we're very warm temperatures, and we are hearing of corn being planted across uh, parts of Illinois and, and Indiana. So we'll try to get as much corn planted in the next couple of days, and then we'll see what kind of this cold weather, if it slows down uh, planting pace. We still have plenty of time to plant the corn, and really, I don't think anybody gets excited about uh, any delays until uh, maybe the middle of May or, or the end of May. We've got a lot of reports on Thursday. Uh, you got the USDA report. Um, we're going to have export sales where people are going to be looking for maybe some new uh, corn and bean business. And we also get uh, OPEC meeting, and there's some talk overnight that OPEC may be a little bit closer in coming up with uh, some kind of reduction in production, which is helping the crude oil uh, overnight. So again, I think from a grain standpoint, we've got corn up a little bit, uh, oversold, uh, funds are big shorts, and we'll see if uh, there's anything that pops up in the USDA report or in export sales that might help the markets the same prices here. Uh, beans are kind of in a holding pattern, uh, chopping around depending upon the news of the virus and the demand for meat and the Chinese demand, and the wheat market might be down because the USDA estimated current U.S. 2020 uh, winter wheat crop conditions the highest uh, since 2010. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.